CSET test preparation. Rocket thrust yourself to a California teacher credential with this simple mindset change. When it comes to CSET test preparation, it's no secret that you and your fellow test takers have prepared every nerve in your body for failure. Hey, you know this test is a ripoff. It doesn't determine if you're a good teacher and a lot of it isn't what's taught in California classrooms. Your college class has never covered most of the content you'll confront on your CSET. There's too much to know and too little time to study it. You've tried some CSET study guides, but feel they're not adequate. You need to focus so that you can pass the CSET, not play a guessing game of what might be tested and what's not. After all, your teaching career and family's future is on the line in this high-stakes teacher certification exam. You don't have to take my word for it. All you have to do is perk up your ears in your next study group. Count up how many times your CSET study guides mention it. Heck, even if CSET test forums aren't packed with anxious test takers all worried about one thing, failing. Here are just a few examples of what future California teachers are talking about. If you've got a nervous disposition, better look away now. This site won't be pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail my CSET tests. All I can think about is what I'm going to do with my life if I don't pass these exams. It's so frustrating that my entire future depends on a simple exam. All my study group talks about is how amazing it would be just to get the minimum passing score. And you know what? That's all I want from my life right now. I don't want a perfect score. Just please let me get the minimum score. Those comments sound pretty familiar, don't they? In fact, I'll bet they've set up a tidy home in your brain. They're consistently sitting on your shoulder, ready to talk you down from planting a tiny seed of hope regarding the CSET preparation. But I've got a way to get rid of CSET dismay. I like to refer to it as my instant CSET test success mental reframe. And you're about to get a taste of it. Read between the CSET lines. I know it's only human nature to seek out fellow test takers who are just as scared as you are. After all, as the old saying goes, misery loves company. But before you log on to your favorite CSET test forum and add your voice to the tired rant, I want you to stop and think for a moment. It might feel good to let off some steam now, but you're missing something that could take your CSET prep to another level. Instead of honing in on fellow test takers who are vocal with their negativity about the CSET test, what about those students who are keeping their lips zipped? You know they're doing something much more effective to hit the CSET bullseye. Instead of wasting time complaining on how unfair it is to take the exam, they're secretly honing their testing craft. They're polishing up on those areas of the test you're procrastinating on. Those soon-to-be California teacher credential holders are investing their time, energy, emotion, and focus into maximizing the productivity of their CSET preparation now. Are you? They realize every 20 minutes of wasted wallowing in the problem and not on the solution is a lost opportunity to study, pass the CSET, and just be done with it. And they don't squander time on negative forums that act as a soapbox for complainers. You know, it's not by coincidence. It's mostly people who fail the CSET over and over again are the ones who hang out in that club. Don't be one of them. Do you want to be a member of the CSET Problem Club or the CSET Solution Club? It's your choice. You must know at least one person who passed the CSET. And I want you to do something. Copy their every test prep move. Emulate their attitude. Ask them for test prep secrets. In fact, sneak your way into their study group. You see, you can program your conscience and subconscious mind through repetitive suggestion that this test is so difficult, not fair, and has nothing to do with being a good teacher. You're right, but this won't help you prepare and pass the CSET. In fact, this baggage, negativity, and lost time, revising the problem over and over leads to the downward spiral of chronic CSET failure. This line of negative programming and major loss of time can lead to a permanent ban from the teaching career you love.
it surely isn't propelling you to your dream life as a California educator. Stop programming your mental software for CSET failure. Resolve to stop wasting the precious little time you have to prepare on the next few things that will actually deliver you a passing score. Be sure you focus only 20% of your time on the problem and 80% on the solution to passing your CSET test starting right now. Replace your endless loop of negative programming and self-doubt with this question every time you feel like you're getting off course. What's the one thing I can do today that will make the biggest impact on my CSET test score and getting my California teacher credential? If you keep asking yourself this question daily, you'll come up with effective insights and ideas to help you pass you would never have thought of before without using this technique. Again, every day ask yourself this question. What's the one thing I can do today that will make the biggest impact on my CSET test score and getting my California teacher credential? And then resolve to complete at least one task today without excuse, complaining, self-doubt, or negative thoughts. It's your brain and your life. You're the captain of your own ship and destiny, so ask yourself questions that lead to goals you want, not what you don't want. Do that daily, and you'll quickly get on the fast track to passing the CSET and living your passion as a California educator. For CSET test preparation that's proven to net you your teaching credential, head to www.teachingsolutions.org forward slash csethtml right now.